During World War II, several fighter aircraft achieved remarkable kill-to-loss ratios, highlighting their effectiveness and impact on the battlefield. These high-performing fighters were pivotal in achieving air superiority and contributing to the success of their respective nations. Let's check out the top 8 fighter aircraft of World War II with high kill-to-loss ratios. At number 8, the P-38 Lightning. Recognized for its distinctive twin-boomed engines and formidable nose-mounted armament, stood out as a highly distinctive fighter aircraft during World War II. It earned respect from both its own pilots and adversaries for its remarkable capabilities. The P-38 operated in all major theaters of World War II. In total, it achieved 3,785 enemy aircraft kills, with 497 victories in the European theater, 1,431 in the Mediterranean theater, 1,700 in the Pacific theater, and 157 in the China-Burma-India theater. Remarkably, the top two American aces of the war, Richard Bong and Thomas McGuire, recorded 40 and 38 victories respectively. The collective kill ratio was an impressive 7 is to 1. At number 7, the North American Aviation P-51 Mustang. An American single-seat fighter and fighter-bomber with extended range was predominantly employed during World War II. Starting in late 1943, the P-51Bs and P-51Cs were utilized by the USAAF's 8th Force for escorting bombers during raids over Germany. Additionally, Allied air forces in the Mediterranean, Italian and Pacific theaters also operated the P-51. Throughout the war, Mustang pilots asserted that they had eliminated 5,599 enemy aircraft, achieving an impressive kill ratio of 11 is to 1. This achievement established the Mustang as the top-scoring American fighter in the European theater and a significant contributor to the Allied victory over Germany. At number 6, the Vought F4U Corsair. It stands out as one of the World War II's most capable American carrier-based fighter bombers. Beginning on February 13, 1942, when a few Corsairs first engaged the Japanese in Guadalcanal. Leading the Corsair campaign were Marine pilots, who, operating from island airstrips, successfully downed 1,400 enemy aircraft. This included 1,100 fighters and 300 bombers with 141 Corsairs lost in combat. By war's end, F-4U and FG pilots collectively claimed 2,140 air combat victories while suffering 189 losses to enemy aircraft, resulting in an impressive overall kill ratio of over 11 is to 1. To some Japanese pilots, it was considered the most formidable American fighter of World War II. At number 5, the Supermarine Spitfire. A British single-seat fighter aircraft served in the Royal Air Force and various Allied nations. In the Battle of Britain, Spitfires primarily engaged to Luftwaffe fighters, primarily the Messerschmitt BF-109E series, which closely matched their capabilities. During this crucial battle, Spitfire successfully downed 529 enemy aircraft but suffered 208 losses in combat. Throughout all theaters of World War II, Spitfires achieved approximately 5,988 kills. It's worth noting that a total of 449 fighter pilots were lost, including those from other nations, resulting in an impressive combined kill ratio of 13 is to 1. At number 4, the Curtis P-40 Warhawk. An American single-engined fighter saw action in various theaters during World War II. In the Pacific, specifically during the Dutch East Indies campaign, the 17th Pursuit Squadron, formed from USAAF pilots evacuated from the Philippines, claimed 49 Japanese aircraft destroyed, despite losing 17 P-40s in the process. In the China-Burma-India theater, both the USAAF and Chinese P-40 pilots achieved an impressive kill-to-loss ratio, accounting for 973 enemy aircraft kills. While P-40s in the Europe and Mediterranean theaters experienced substantial losses, 
Several USAAF P-40 units managed to achieve a commendable 2 to 1 kill to loss ratio against Axis aircraft. From April to October 1943, this fighter was credited with at least 133 air-to-air -air kills while losing 17 P-40s in combat. Overall, the Curtis P-40 Warhawk operated in various theaters and, on average, maintained an impressive combined kill-to-loss ratio of 18 to 1. At number 3, the Grumman F-6F Hellcat. An American carry-based fighter aircraft from World War II played a crucial role in various engagements. During combat over Tarawa, it claimed the downing of approximately 30 Mitsubishi Zeros while suffering only one loss of an F-6F. In another battle over a bowl, New Britain, Hellcats and F-4U Corsairs were locked in day-long skirmishes against numerous Japanese aircraft, including A6M Zeros, and collectively took down nearly 50 enemy planes throughout World War II. A total of 2,462 F-6F Hellcats were lost for various reasons. Of these losses, 270 occurred during aerial combat. Hellcats were credited with the destruction of 5,223 enemy aircraft while serving with the U.S. Navy, U.S. Marine Corps, and Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm. These achievements made them the most successful Allied naval aircraft, resulting in an impressive kill-to-loss ratio of 19 to 1. At number 2, the Messerschmitt BF-109. A German fighter aircraft holds the distinction of being credited with more aerial victories than any other plane in history. A total of 105 BF-109 pilots were recognized for downing thousands of enemy aircraft, with 13 of them achieving over 200 kills and two surpassing the remarkable 300 kill mark. Together, this elite group was credited with nearly 15,000 aerial victories. In the context of fighter pilots, the ace designation is typically awarded to those with five and more confirmed kills. When applied to Luftwaffe fighter pilots, it became evident that over 2,500 German pilots earned the status of ace. While the majority of BF-109 pilots achieved their kills against Soviet forces, five pilots recorded over 100 victories against Western Allied aircra aircraft. Notably, during Operation Barbarossa, the German pilots flying BF-109s claimed an impressive 7,355 kills while suffering only 350 losses in aerial combat. This outstanding performance marked the highest kill-to-loss ratio achieved by the Germans on the Eastern Front. In total, the combined kill-to-loss ratio of the BF-109 is an impressive 21 to 1. At number 1, the Brewster F-2A Buffalo An American fighter aircraft utilized in the early stages of World War II played a significant role. The Buffalo won a competition against the Grumman F-4F Wildcat in 1939 to become the U.S. Navy's first monoplane fighter aircraft. Interestingly, the Buffalo garnered interest from several nations, including Finland, Belgium, Britain and the Netherlands, all of which placed orders for the aircraft. The Finnish Air Force, in particular, achieved remarkable success with their Buffaloes when pitted against early Soviet fighters thanks to the exceptional skills of Finnish pilots. Between 1941 and 1945, Fighter Squadron 24, equipped with Buffaloes, claimed the destruction of 477 Soviet Air Force warplanes while losing only 19 Buffaloes in combat. This astonishing victory ratio stood at an impressive 26 to 1, primarily due to the outstanding performance of the Finnish pilots. However, it is worth noting that the F-2A Buffalo was notably outmatched when compared to the Japanese Mitsubishi A6M Zero. And that's it for today. Stay tuned for more videos from the Buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye bye.